I am Tammy Ma from the Lawrence Livermore National Lab. I am currently the co-lead for Advanced Photon Technologies, where we use uh, some of the highest intensity lasers in the world to do high energy density science. The NIF is the world's largest, most energetic laser. And what we do is we take the energy of those 192 laser beams and we use them to compress a little fuel pellet containing our deuterium tritium fuel, then you initiate fusion reactions. And if you do it right, um, you start a propagating burn where that little bit of fusion um, starts heating up the rest of the fusion fuel, and then you can actually generate a lot more energy out than you put in with the lasers. And that is our definition of ignition. In the HD field, experiments are complex and um, can typically take hours before you might get one shot. New lasers are capable of shooting at 10 hertz or 10 times a second. What this actually does is unleashes the power of the application of things like machine learning. You can get machine learning, artificial intelligence to not just analyze your data, but give you insights into what that data means and then feed it back to the laser in real time so that you can actually drive your experiments and learn much, much faster than you would if you could only do a shot per hour, a shot a day. The idea with cognitive simulation is connecting simulations with experiments through machine learning to learn about not just the end product, but all of the, the fundamental science in between. For example, there are a number of things in a laser plasma experiment that you don't directly measure. Temperature is one that is notoriously difficult to measure. So what you can do with machine learning and these models that you build up is you can directly probe those things that are invisible to you. Change something on the front end, get something else on the back end. What happens in the middle? You can use machine learning to bridge that gap for you. The part of the research that really excites me is the potential for fusion energy. It is a long-term solution for climate change, uh, energy security, and I think it's something that we can make happen. Um, and so that's what really excites me about fusion and plasma physics. <laughs>